Okay, hello everybody. My name is Kawiki Marez Vestena. I'm from Brazil. It, uh, the, uh, this is, was the original title of the, of the presentation because it was proposed as a panel discussion about, uh, well, people arguing about sidewalks or so, uh, but uh, it ended up as a lighting talk, so I changed the title a little bit. So it's more straightforward to the point uh, because no space for people arguing or, so, or, so, or something. So it's, it's a lighting talk wants some advantages of mapping sidewalks as separate geometries. Uh, yeah. So the reason is this. When you go to the forums, you see it's like a, a polemic question. And above all, it's a decision. It's always up to the local community to decide which standard they found better or is up to its city or something like this. But at some point at my city, I was mapping sidewalks as separate geometry and becomes this guy. Um, yeah, <laughs> privacy. Uh, but he deleted like uh, almost a thousand features of sidewalks that we are mapping there with uh, my mapping group, or with the mapping group that I'm participating. I think that there are lots of other active OpenStreetMap members. So uh, let's see that there's two sides of the coin when we speak about the questions. So some technical questions and even some epistemological questions. Uh, so the first thing is, you're drawing the actual path with the actual length. So you are representing like where really are the sidewalk and you, you are mapping the crossings in, in a way uh, that's the way how pedestrians move around. So you have the actual path with actual length and different from like shitty, <laughs> shitty routers like this. So we pedestrians, we don't walk on the middle of the streets. We don't we don't walk on the on the crossings uh, on the street intersections. We walk on the crossings. Okay. Uh, all, another technical part is that it enables for richness of detail. So the sidewalk or even each stretch of the sidewalk is a different feature. Okay. Uh, you have the the crosswalk. You have the curb access points, and each of these features got its own features. Each one of them, and also it it eases up the process of seeing the inheritance of the features. Okay, uh, so each feature got its own history, and it's you can put more uh, you can put more information there, and also the topology of the pedestrian network are properly addressed. You have all the connections where they must be. Okay. Uh, also, the other important thing is to leave the road alone. So, if you imagine this situation when you got just a, in a single rock, the sidewalk, the, the surface of the sidewalk changing a lot. So, if you you would have to to split it up, you would have like ten stretches of sidewalk at, at, of of the street, yeah, just to put the information of the sidewalk surface on the street. Okay, and you have this very messy uh, tag schema with big tags. Uh, and the other thing, it's uh, an epistemological uh, 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 motivation because we uh, we meant to move uh, in a, in a less car centered open street map. You know, there is no need to change the name. Okay. But, uh, you know, uh, in most cities we have lots of street data, but few pedestrian data. And we know that for each, each road, generally you have sidewalk on the both sides, so we have more sidewalks or, and pedestrian paths than roads in the end. Uh, and the other thing is to aim for the future with micro mapping. So you can imagine if you have all trees maps, all, all poles and stuff, you can have, uh, for example, uh, navigation to assist blind people with uh, e effectively uh, the positions of stuff to have a, a really very assistive uh, navigation. And uh, this was my presentation. Thank you all. So let's map some sidewalks. These are other products, other sidewalk products of my research. There is the, the workshop of accessibility mapping that's going to take place tomorrow. There's a sidewalk creator plugin for QJS that draws the geometries of sidewalks. 
And there's this ongoing project of open sidewalk map that uses open street map data to manage sidewalk data. This was it. Thank you all.